Holy wood chips. Look at all this. Love this stuff. We got a local arborist and he's been dumping loads of wood chips at our property. He only lives a couple miles down the road, so that's really convenient for him and it's really convenient for us. I love this stuff, man. It is just absolutely awesome when it comes to gardening. So, you know, I just got this little documentary last year and it's uh, it was called Back to Eden. And there's a guy that lives up uh, north of us in Washington State, and he's got this garden and started putting wood chips all over it. Um, he's all over YouTube. Just look it up. Back to Eden Garden, you'll find him. Um, anyway, he, he used the, these wood chips and never has to till, never has to weed, and the vegetables in his gardens grow up awesome. I start having uh, the arborist that lives down the road dumping wood chips here and like I said it's convenient for him and it's really convenient for us. Just let this stuff sit for a little while and it starts decomposing and creating all kinds of fungus and nice beautiful soil and it tracks worms and bugs and this stuff hasn't been sitting for too long here. Maybe. I don't know, a couple months at the most, so it really hasn't had too much of a chance to decompose yet, but first couple weeks they just had, these piles had steam just bellowing out of them, but uh, now it's just, they're just kind of sitting and slowly decomposing, but what I'm going to use all this for is around my berry plants. I always wanted my own little uh, berry patch and finally created it. In fact, I, I'll, I should have a video by now or I'll have one up soon of my berry patch and how I created it all. But I'm going to use these guys as uh, mulch, you know, around all of those berries and it should just, you know, cause tons of awesome growth and create lots of nice tasting berries in the in the summertime. So if you guys got somebody local an arborist, somebody who trims trees and has tons of shaving or wood chips that are trying to get rid of, give them a call because these guys are always looking to get rid of this stuff. It helps them, it helps you, and wood chips have just proven to be an awesome supplement to your gardening. Holy pile of wood chips. That thing is growing like crazy. I finally got the backhoe going and was able to push all this up into a giant pile. The pile sits probably, I don't know if you can see with the camera, but the pile sits over my head. It's probably seven foot, eight foot high, and is, is I think it's about 20, 24 foot straight back there. And geez, it's gotta be 15 foot wide. It's a lot of wood chips. They've been sitting here just composting. There was steam coming off the top of this pile for quite a while. There's a few big branches occasionally, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. I'm real excited about these wood chips and we're gonna get our garden going with the wood chips next year. I'm gonna put a lot of this down as a uh, cover and we're getting into the back to Eden gardening method. But like I said in another video, I think uh, I think the big secret is you got to bring in a lot of good organic material first before you put the wood chips down on top or it's going to be years before anything happens. So the arborist has brought me several other loads since I piled all that up. He's actually, it was probably a week after, two weeks after I piled all that up. He brought several more, probably four more loads and I just kept pushing it back with the backhoe. He said, we'll fill this whole area in. Uh, he also does commercial fishing though up in Alaska during the summer so I think he's gone right now I haven't seen him in a while but next fall winter and spring I'll probably get I don't know two times this amount and we're also going to start using it for the roadie beds let's go take a little walk over here I, I discovered something that's pretty cool and I'm just new to this wood chip thing, just trying to figure it out and get it all going. But I used some of them. I had some burning bushes and lilacs that I wanted to plant. And I used them to create this bed. Of course, you know, the deer love burning bushes. <laughs> so they've completely annihilated them but there's still a few leaves in there I just think as they grow bigger and bigger and get stronger roots the deer won't be able to overpower them and 
I'm going to have to find some deer spray. There's a few plants that I like that are planted out that aren't roadies, and I'm going to have to use deer spray for those. But this, I'm so used to using bark on my beds, but not wood chips. Well, I put these wood chips down, and I water them, and I start digging in there, and I'm finding, I, I, I know you can't feel this, <laughs> but you got to take my word for it, they're not as light and airy as they look. They pack down, but they drain through well. They still stay, uh, they still stay aerated in there and they drain really well, but they're not, they're not just light like they're gonna blow off. They're thick and as they pack down, I mean, look, I just put these wood chips down I don't know, probably a month ago, and they're already starting. I mean, I know it's a little early, but they're starting to kind of create a little environment for bugs and bacteria, and I see spiders and, and little bugs and things crawling around in here. It's creating a little home. I put these wood chips down probably six inches deep, right up to the base of the plants, and there's, there's some fungus. I don't know if you saw that. A little hairy fungus in there, and they're already starting to pack down when i it, there was a about a week or so of nothing but just pure sun a couple weeks ago after i put all these down and uh getting a few weeds but they're pretty easy to pull and uh i uh came out here i had, I had watered them i had watered the plants when i first put them in then a week went by of pure sun and i wanted to see how well it retained moisture so i started peeling back the bark and digging down into it after a week of pure sun and it was just wet it was moist and just real wet almost down at the base where the roots of these plants are so i'm convinced wood chips are the way to go and i'm gonna you know as long as my arborist buddy can keep bringing me wood chips i'm just going to start using them for the rhododendron beds because i think they're going to work out even better than the bark but we'll see how it goes. Uh, you know, as, as much as I can get, we'll just keep using it. So that's uh, what's going on right now with the wood chips. We'll talk to you later.